Hi everyone, Matt here with Chelsea Guitar Maintenance and Repair and today we're going to talk about the Korg Pitch Black Custom Tuner Pedal. Uh, I picked up one of these to go on my pedal board. I figured I'd go through some of the options and uh, I couldn't find a ton of detailed videos on this so I wanted to um, go over some things like the cool display and such that it has some of the different modes. Give you some demos and uh, let's get to it. All right, just to set everything up, so we've got the Korg tuner here. Uh, I am playing my Epiphone Casino so that you can hear the notes. It's a little louder than my other electric, so I figured it would help the demo out a little bit. Uh, so this is the Korg Pitch Black Custom. And uh, one of the reasons I was drawn to this thing, just off the top, it's pretty obvious, is the cool uh, display that you've got here. I'm going to roll my volume down a little bit. Um, and one of the things that I didn't get from the photos and the demos that I found is how cool this display actually is. So first, you know, functionally, you've got the really large uh, identifier for um, what note you're playing there. Uh, very easy to see, great for a pedal board. And the display is really bright too. It's fairly easy to see, uh, even in direct sunlight. Um, so the, dis the display is great, but the bars here that give you your, your pitch if you turn it, it actually changes the angle of the line that you're looking at, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, there's actually real depth to the display here. These LEDs actually move backward and it gives a really cool effect. Uh, and as a tuner, um, I've compared it to a few other tuners and later in the video I've actually got uh, my Polytune 2 that is on the floor that, uh, that we can compare to. Uh, but just to start, let's go ahead and do some tuning real quick. E, a little flat. This is the standard tuning mode. Kind of what we're used to. One line that says, hey, you're either flat or you're sharp. You've got two switches on the back of here. I'm going to hit the one for uh, display, which changes your display mode. The second mode is a strobe tuner. So we're going to hit that D again. Go flat. So you can see we're moving down, we're flat, we're going to tighten it a little bit, strobe action. There you go, so now we are in tune. Uh, and the next display mode we have is sort of a hybrid. So what this is going to do is actually give you your reference notes. So if we again play our D here, it's going to say we're in tune, but if we go flat, you're going to have a strobe kind of on whichever side of the note you're on. So we're flat now, it's pointing down. As we get closer to the note, it's gonna stop moving. Then eventually, you're not gonna have anything, which means you're in tune. And that's kind of a new way to look at things if you like a strobe tuner, but you're, you kinda of still like having that one reference mark to go by, that's a pretty cool feature. Now the next one, uh, is a little different. It's really easy to understand how this next mode works. Basically it fills up until you get to your note, so until your green line lights up you're not in tune. Now you're in tune. Now what I didn't like about this mode is if you go past your note, it's not as obvious. If you're on stage trying to do this really quick, it could be easy to overlook that because the green and the blue can blend together. It's not very obvious. So this is probably my least favorite of the tuning modes, but I guess for some people, it'll work for them. You've got another button on the back here, which is actually your calibration. So you can click this to actually take it off of like a 440 reference uh, and move to some alternate tunings. Uh, you can't set it to automatically, you know, it's just a chromatic tuner, so you're not going to do drop D or anything like that. You actually have to know what note you're tuning for. Uh, in order for it to work. There's not a polyphonic tune mode, whatever that's called, whatever TC does, where you strum the entire guitar. You strum the entire guitar, it doesn't know what to do. So you don't have that mode. It's single chromatic tuner, uh, like Korg's known best for. They've been making these things for a long time, and this is just sort of a cool new take on their pedal version. Uh, one other feature you've got is on the back here, you actually have a 9-volt DC out, so you can power other pedals from this. Uh, which is pretty handy if, you, if you're limited on your power outputs on your pedal board or if you just have one spot or something, you don't have a lot of extra stuff. Uh, it can come in handy. 
uh, your output here. You've got one output, so your only option is a muted output. You can't bypass the tuner and send your signal through and still uh, get your readout on your tuner. So that is something that, you know, another feature that it doesn't have. But for the price point, for the really cool display, the, the large indicator for the note you're tuning, uh, I do think it's a great little pedal that's worth checking out. So uh, now I'm going to just really quickly uh, compare this to my Polytune, and you can just see how it stacks up uh, accuracy-wise. So here you can see uh, sort of what you'd be looking at if this was on your pedal board. Uh, pretty far away, you can see that the notes are... Still pretty obvious what we're tuning. I'm back to the standard tuning mode. That's what I've been using. E chord shows up pretty good. All right, so let's start with this low E. We're just gonna do a quick comparison. Little flat. Pretty close. Now let's check check the polytune. Now I'm in strobe mode on my polytune. That's showing almost dead on exact. Yeah, that's you can't tell the difference between those two. Let's try it on an A. A little flat. And I can tell you, just doing this right here, this thing's pretty sensitive. It's got a little flicker down there below the green. All right, so now we're on the A. Check the polytune. Really close. Let's see if I can get the polytune dead on. That's about as close as it's going to get. Yep. So, yeah, they. Uh, it matches. It's really accurate. So it really comes down to if you're choosing between one of these two pedals, whichever one you like the look of more. Um, the only real feature that I'd say that the, the polytune has is that polyphonic tuning where you can strum everything and check your tune all at once. And on the polytune, of course, you can set that strum to a uh, E flat, you can set it to a drop D, you can customize it, you can do a lot of different stuff. So that is a cool feature if you use it. Um, I don't find myself using that a lot. Uh, on some guitars, it tends to wander and even though it says one string's in tune in the standard tuning, uh, it can show that it's out of tune in the poly mode, things like that. So I personally stay away from it, but it's kind of a personal preference. I like the look of the chord. I'm going to keep giving it a shot, keep it on the board, and uh, go from there. So uh, hope you guys got some use out of this, and we'll talk to you later.